here on the seventh tee on the Faldo course at Loch Ern. This is my favourite hole on the golf course. The views are absolutely stunning from up here. Uh, down this way, the direction we're hitting the ball, uh, you see the whole of Loch Ern. The distinction with this hole is Rory McIlroy in 2009 drove this green, which looking at it now is an incredible feat. Uh, I don't think I'm going to replicate that today, but we'll give it a go. I'm going to aim it at the bunkers down towards the middle of the fairway, uh, and we'll see how we go. So that one is perfect. Here we are on the 17th tee in the Faldo course at Loch Ern. One of the most iconic shots that you'll see in a lot of our promotional material and also a fantastic golf hole. It's 322 yards from this tee and we're hitting it over Loch Ern or actually Castle Hume Loch. Uh, so all the danger is on the right hand side but we have bunkers on the left hand side as well. So accuracy is absolutely the key thing here. And the view that you get of the hotel, the lodges and all the cottages there is absolutely stunning. So you do see this in a lot of our promotional material. Here now, I'm uh, the director of golf here and the head PGA professional. I've actually only been here now three months uh, and it's, I have to say it's an honour to, to be here because it is such a, a wonderful resort with, with two fantastic golf courses. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far, just coming into the busy season. Uh, so things are starting to get very busy, plenty of golfers experiencing what we have to offer. So I, I'm loving it at the minute. Amazing. And tell us about the resort, tell us about the golf here. Well, the golf here, uh, the resort uh, itself is opened in 2008. Before that, we had an 18-hole golf course at, at Castle Hume, which is, which is part of the resort now. Uh, it's over 30 years old, but uh, the resort here at Loch Ern became involved in 2008. Um, and uh, it offers then an 18-hole championship golf course on top of the Castle Hume course, uh, the original course. Wow, so two, two courses? Two courses, yeah, uh -huh. and uh, the, the Castle Hume Golf Course is a championship course in its own right. Uh, the, the, the Faldo course is, is a, an unbelievable setup. It, it's capable of hosting a European Tour event, but the Castle Hume course um, has hosted the PGA Ulster Championship on 10 occasions, and uh, the Loch Iron course here has hosted it once. Uh, so it's, the, it's two championship set, uh, layouts. Wow, incredible, we're spoilt then. Absolutely. So, so tell us about the design then, you, you've dropped a few names there, so. Yeah, yeah, the design, the, the, one of the big ones there, uh, you can maybe see in the pictures behind us here, we have Sir Nick Faldo, uh, who's responsible for designing the, the Faldo course at Loch Iron. Uh, and it's, it's a fantastic golf course, uh, and I've played golf courses all over the world, and it is, has to be right, right up there with, with all of them. Uh, it's a very fair golf course, and, and with the, the scenery and the views, it, it's, there's certainly nowhere like it in, in the province, or uh, maybe even in Ireland. So you mentioned two championship courses, uh, and I'm having a mini heart attack uh, when I'm thinking, uh, is it suitable for all levels? or? It is. Will, that, I, will I be challenged? That, <laughs> you certainly will be challenged, but the beauty of it here, there we have options of four different tee boxes um, that can really change the yardages uh, considerably. So it suits everyone from beginners to the, the, the European Tour events there. We have black tees, which are, are which play the absolute longest. Then we have yellow tees on the other end of the scale, which are accessible to senior golfers, to uh, children. You, you name it, uh, and everything in between. Uh, is, there, is there packages then around the golf? There are indeed, there's, there's so many packages available. Uh, you know, if, if they're here purely and simply for golf, if we have a group of uh, anywhere from eight upwards, you, you know, uh, that are here to play golf, season golfers, that we can accommodate them between the combination of the two courses, they can play a combination of the Faldo and the Castle Hume course. Uh, the other advantages with packages we have, if groups of golfers are coming here and they're maybe bringing their wives, uh, what do their wives do in here? We have an award-winning Thai spa, uh, so they can certainly enjoy that as well, as well as the, 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 the very friendly staff and the fantastic food as well. At the place. There's plenty to do at the resort. Uh, even get water taxis from the, the pier at the 7th there. 
can take you trips around uh, various local areas and stuff as well. So there's any amount to do based from the resort. Incredibly exciting, the 148th Open Championship uh, come to Portrush. Uh, last year was here in 1947. Um, Absolutely, there's such a buzz around the place. I was in Portrush uh, last week. I was invited down to the event with Tourism Northern Ireland and uh, the grandstands were all up in place and uh, it's going to be an awesome spectacle and it's going to bring so much to the, the whole country of Northern Ireland. Uh, it's going to put us on the, on the world map uh, without a shadow of a doubt. When people see um, Northern Ireland and the stunning scenery that we have here in, in Portrush, they'll certainly want to come to Northern Ireland. We are two hours from Dublin. So we're easily accessible. As you mentioned earlier, there's helicopters and stuff flying in, so there's more ways to get here than by road. We would do a lot of work with Tours in Northern Ireland and indeed with tour operators who are keen to bring uh, groups of golfers, individual golfers here from uh, Europe, Scandinavia, as well as America too, and certainly the Republic of Ireland. We're definitely noticing more golf societies uh, as well as individuals coming up to, to play from the Republic. So that we're happy that the message is getting out there. And once they come up and experience it, they come back, which is, uh, which is great to see. For sure, as I say, and definitely the slogan is apt, uh, made for golf. Yeah, absolutely, made for golf. And, and, and it will be fantastic when it gets on the TV to see how good it looks on the television. Yeah. Green at Loch Earn. It's 212 yard par 3 across the, the Castle Hume Loch. We've just come up a little bit short here. I've got a 30 yard pitch that I'm looking to try and play up to a back pin. So I'm going to show a couple of options of how I would play this shot. So first of all we're going to look at the, the low chasing shot um, and how I would set up to play that. So my club of choice is my 54 degree wedge. Um, I'm going to set myself in here, take my grip with the club facing or with the club square to my target. So whenever I set in here, I'm, I'm pointing the club face to where I want to go. And when I take my grip, you can see the golf pride on the grip is pointing straight up towards my chest. And I set my feet in, pointing again towards my target with uh, my toes even and in line with my club face, okay? And from here, I want to make a nice controlled swing try and keep the hands, try and hit down towards the ball and keep the hands forward through the shot so that hopefully when it hits the green, it releases out and runs up towards the flag. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go with this now. So I'm gonna set my club in first of all, picking my target, getting my feet ready, getting my hands slightly forward. Nice swing and up towards the flag. Perfect, I'm happy with that. Okay, so that first shot turned out pretty well there, so I'm gonna have a look at how we play the, the next option, which is the slightly higher trajectory, flighting through the air a bit more and landing a bit quicker, a bit softer. So because the pin's cut at the top of the slope, you have the option to fly it the full way so that we can get it landing soft, stopping quick, and hopefully having a bit of control on it. So with this, we're gonna set in slightly differently. So we're initially what we had was the club square and the grip golf pride pointing straight up towards my chest. We're gonna turn the club slightly open. So it's gonna point slightly right for a right-handed golfer or slightly left for a left hand. But we're gonna have the golf pride pointing at an angle and take our grip from that point. So for me, that club is now pointing out to the right-hand side. So what I have to do is turn my club to get my club facing towards the target and I set my feet. So my feet and my shoulders are out pointing left of the target. So with this now, I'm gonna make a slightly bigger swing than we made the last time because we need a little bit more speed to get the ball to go up in the air. Try and get the ball up as quick as we can. So again, setting in, getting the club, taking the grip with the golf pride pointing towards my right shoulder, aiming the club towards the target with my feet left and try and make my swing. Thank you. 